Hello everyone, my name is Prashant Agrawal and I am working as Senior Search Specialist Solution Architect in AWS where I primarily focus on Amazon Open Search Service. Today I am going to talk a little bit about what Amazon Open Search Service is and how you can get started in less than 10 minutes. Before getting started, let's take a step back and see what is search all about. So for example, you go into an e-commerce website to buy a keyboard. You enter the search term as keyboard and then you are presented with a list of keyboards with different brands and prices and then you have an option to filter through with respect to what brand and price range you are looking for. So searching through whole universe of products in the store and then coming up with that one particular thing that actually makes your goal is what search all about. So let's see what Amazon Open Search Service is. So Open Search Service is a fully managed service that makes it easy to deploy, operate and scale open search cluster in AWS Cloud. Self-managed open search or elastic search takes time and specialized expertise, but you can increase operational excellence by using a popular open source solution using open search. Then talking about the security, you can audit and secure your data with a data center and network architecture using built-in certifications. And then you can meet and maintain high security for authentication, authorization and encryption and so on. Then observability is what everyone talking about it now, right? So with open search service, you can systematically detect potential threats and react to a system state through an open source solution for observability. Last but not the least, cost for log and application data increases as the data grows. With open search service, you can optimize time and resources for your strategic work by using different storage tier for your data. So let's see what are different use cases for the open search service. At a high level, there are two use cases with open search service. So one under log analytics, you might need to do application monitoring where you want to look at the latencies or you may want to look at the error code to see what is causing an issue to your application. In case of security, you may want to find out fraud or you want to make sure that you protect your application and services from denial of service attack. While talking about search use case, you might want to go to an e-commerce platform to find the product quickly as well as you might need the personalized recommendation provided by those search engines as per your interest. Now we know what is open search service and what are the use case. So let's quickly jump on to see how the search engine works. The interaction model for search engine are really simple. It's a REST API based technology. You have generators of data, whether it's your database that has your application data, or it could be log data generated from server application, IoT devices, etc. Once you receive those data, you need to convert them into the JSON and then send to the open search. Then open search is going to index all of the fields. This is one of the differentiator, like some of the database solution provide limited indexing capabilities for lookups, but with open search, everything is is indexed everything is searchable now you have data in your open search you can use the rest api for text search or you can use the aggregation queries for your log data where your business user can log into open search dashboard and run interactive visualization and dashboard so let's see it in action so here we will log into the aws console and see how does it works so if you go to your aws console you can look you can search for the open search service over here then once you go to the open search service you can click on the domain and once you go to the domain it will list down all the domains what you have within the service so in this in, in this uh, demo i'm going to kind of show you how you can create a domain and what all option you have so you have an option to specify the domain name so like say i'm specifying zero to hero as my domain name then it will have an option to specify the endpoint so endpoint are like if you want to give your open search dashboard as your company domain url so for example like demo dot to mycompany.com so that can be specified as part of the endpoint then there are three different deployment type like one is the production another one is development and testing and then you have the option for the custom so in case of production it will be kind of selecting the multi ag architecture with the dedicated master node whereas in case of development and testing or like in the custom one you have an option to specify different kind of setup with respect to the ag or kind of specifying the master nodes and the data nodes then it will pop up a list of all the versions supported within the open search service so like it is kind of showing a 1.3 which is the latest within the open search and then 7.10 and 6.8 which is the latest in the 7.x and 6.x series but open search does support all the versions starting from elasticsearch 1.5 up till 7.10 and then all the version open search 1.0 to 1.3 if you and you can kind of toggle it by using this particular button 
then next you can enable or disable the auto tune which is kind of an advanced feature within the open source service which can do some sort of optimization out of the box next you can specify the number of ags you want to run your solution with so like i'm selecting the 3 ag architecture and then selecting the instance types like it supports uh, r series m series then i series as well as the c series instances which you can choose from after specifying how many nodes you want you can specify how much disk you want to give at each data node so that can be specified under under this particular option uh, for the ebs storage per node then open search has the different storage tiering as i was talking about to kind of uh, store uh, like uh, data at very low cost like you can enable the ultra warm node and then it supports two kind of ultra warm like ultra warm one dot medium and the ultra warm one dot large so you can select the node depending upon how much data you are going to store into the ultra warm and then if you want to even store the data into the cold tier so you can enable or disable the cold storage as well then you have an option to specify the dedicated master node so like as i mentioned earlier like typically for the production workload we do recommend setting up the dedicated de uh, dedicated master node as well then open source service will take the snapshot and that's kind of a backup which will be taken up every hour and it will be retained for 14 days under the network option you have an option to choose like whether you want to deploy your domain under the vpc or whether you want to make it public so say if i want to kind of deploy the domain under the public uh, access then i can select that option and then i can enable the find and access control to kind of set up the granular control across my data then you have an option to either specify the IMARN as the master user or you can create a master user so like uh, here you can specify the username and password once you have specified those details then you have another option to kind of provide the single sign on for your open search dashboard and here like you can have a third party integration with the single sign on or like you can bring your own identity provider such as like Okta, Ping etc then you can define the access policy whether you want it to be controlled only using the find and access control or if you want to set up any domain level or the uh, if you want to set up any domain level access policy last uh, you can set up the encryption so like if you have your own aws kms key you can bring it up over here if not then aws will own and manage one a key for you and it will be set up per domain once you specify all the options you can click uh, you can click on creating of this particular domain and once uh, it will take roughly around uh, five minutes to kind of create the domain and once domain is created you can go to your domain list and you can see whatever domain you have created so i have created a zero to hero domain earlier for this particular demo and then it specifies all the detail with respect to configuration like how many data nodes you are having how many master nodes you have and then on top you have the link to access the open search dashboard so now if you click on the open search dashboard it will be popping up the username and password screen to log in but i have already logged in so it's not popped up and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a uh, kind of uh, sample indexing and searching and so how does the search works within the open search for that you can kind of click on the hamburger icon on the top left and then go to the dev tools so here i have a script to create an index so i'm creating an index with uh, one sorts and two replica once my index is created i have a bulk api which is going to index some of the sample movie data from the imdb so, and once i run that it will index all the data what i have in this bulk payload once my data is indexed you can run the search query as simple as like specifying the index name followed by the underscore search which will give you like how many documents are there in this particular index and then it will also give you top 20 documents uh, for that index which where you can see all the fields within that particular document so like it has the director name release date ratings then what are the title actors etc because it is the movie database now if you want to kind of for search for a specific term or keyword then you can run the term query so here i'm going to search for the like uh, what i run which is there in the title so once i run this query you can see my total count from 1499 has been reduced to eight so that means there are eight matching documents which has iron in the title but it could be like uh, the movie title is iron man over here but in the second one it's like generation iron or it could be something else dot dot iron 
but now if i know like i'm looking for the iron man i can even run the kind of uh, complex query or the boolean query where i specify multiple search condition for that one so like i want to match the title as iron as well as i know like robert down is the actor on the iron man so i can specify those kind of uh, filter criteria where i can search for the specific terms across different fields within the document now if i run this query you can see like out of those eight matching records for the iron now i have got only three documents because now it's returning me iron man iron man 3 and iron man 2 so now it's getting me all the movies which has the title as iron and then actor as robert downey so this is how the search works within the open search so like uh, i just showed like how you can index the data and then how you can run the search query apart from this search uh, you can also use the dashboards where you can kind of and generate the or create the dashboard depending upon your log data so i have a sample data coming from web traffic which has the details such as the unique visitors and like from what country your data is being generated then what kind of operating system your users are using so depending upon the fields what you have in your logs you can create those visualizations and then those individual visualization can be plotted into the single dashboard which can give you a high level overview across your application it could be as i mentioned earlier it could be your latency or it could be your error rates or kind of an overall access data within your applications so with that uh, that's what i have uh, with respect to the demo so what do we have next so you can get started with uh, amazon open search service by signing up to aws account you get a free trial for a year so check out the qr code for getting started next if you are curious to know how the customers are using amazon open search service you can check out our customer stories over here and then at last you can refer our dive into amazon open search service workshop which will help you to learn more about the open search by setting up a domain ingesting some of the sample data and then running the query against those data sets with that thanks a lot for listening and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions